Turbo Repo 2.0 is here and it has two new features in it that I've been building powerful workflows with that I just wasn't able to before in the modern repos that I maintain. And so I wanna take a moment to show you these two new features and how they work together really well. Those two new features are a new terminal UI that makes it easier to see your tasks and work with clear logs and even have interactive tasks. And additionally, a watch mode, a dependency aware task watcher for any tooling in your repository, even those that don't have a built-in watcher. To set up this demo for us, I just started with npx create turbo at latest. That will give you a fresh modern repo to play with and you can create some of the things that we'll see here in the rest of this demo. Uh, one thing that I've added is a Node.js server here. So you can see this dev script is just node watch on that source code. This index.js is just a copy paste of the nodejs.org website, the code that you'll see there when you open that up. I've lightly edited it for our purposes so I can introduce a dependency on an internal package that we have. Additionally, that internal package that I am showing there is down here. It quite literally just exports a string, but it will be great for showing off some of the workflows that we can create later. Now that we know what's in this repository, let's run a few things. So let's run turbo dev like we're used to doing, but we're going to get a brand new terminal UI this time. This is really nice for interacting with your logs. You can see on the left here, I have my list of tasks and I can use the up and down arrow keys to pick out which task I want to be looking at. So this is a much nicer experience than that stream logged experience we had before. There were just so many logs sometimes that it was hard to parse which was coming in before which and not knowing uh, what belonged to who at which time. And so now having each log separate, you can see very clearly what belongs to which. Now, additionally, this new terminal UI can account for some new features that we've wanted to create for a long time. So for instance, I'm going to add this test task here, and this is now an interactive task. So. You can see here that I have what you might see for vtest. You have the opportunity to press H to show help or Q to quit. You can interact with this. You can type at it. With that stream log experience, you just couldn't do that. It, that process was trapped inside of those streamed logs. But now if I press enter to interact, as it says at the bottom of my screen, I can now push H to show help. I can press A to rerun all the tests. Maybe I want to uh, filter for just tests that say turbo repo, for instance. Of course, there's so many other tools around the ecosystem where using standard in to type into those tasks and those tools makes for a much better developer experience. So we're happy to be able to unlock all kinds of workflows. I know there's this test case, but there's also database migrations and other tooling that benefits from a feature like this. To go along with this new UI, we've introduced a new command, turbo watch. This is a dependency aware task watcher for any of your tasks that don't have a built-in watcher themselves. What I'll start with here is like a turbo dev lint task. So for instance, I wanna have a linter that I can always use and stays with me while my source code is running, but you can see here that I'm using ESLint and that doesn't have a built-in watcher. I'm going to open up my uh, editor here, give this a little more breathing room. And this time I'm going to run turbo watch my devlint task. Now you'll see that this gets held open. Turbo is still running. And when I go into utilities, the index file, for instance, I'm going to edit my utilities package. And when I hit save here, you'll notice that these get reran. That's important that all of those got reran. The dependencies on the source code that I changed, it matters not just to that package, but everything else in the repo that depends on that source code change. So running all of those tasks, having that dependency awareness built into the watcher makes it really, really powerful. So with all of that out there, I think my favorite thing about this release is actually that all of this stuff works together so well. This new UI unlocks these interactive tasks and I can run them right alongside my persistent tasks like I'm used to as I open up my Next.js dev server here. And then additionally, 
you saw that I ran Turbo Watch and then all of my commands. So those tasks that are being used with watch mode, they're running as well. And additionally, of course, if I hit save here and hot reload, you see some tasks get reran. We see that from dependencies, we saw that hot reloading update. I got more exclamation points there on my UI. So I love how everything here works together so tightly that we can have all of these awesome workflows all at once. One more thing I do want to mention is that we've published all new documentation along with this release. In particular, I want to point out this crafting your repository section. It has it from zero to turbo mini course in here that you can use to learn all the way from the basics of structuring a repository to building and constructing all of your CI and deployment pipelines. So do give that a look. That's all for what's new in Turbo Repo 2.0. We're really excited about these updates and we hope you are too. As always, you can find us at turbo.build and you can get started with Turbo Repo with NPX Create Turbo at latest. We'll see you around the Turboverse.